What's up everybody, my name is Javis and today we're gonna to be talking about if you should be going to junior college or not and if that's something that you should actually think about doing in the future. This is one of those topics where there might be a bit more information than normal, so just to cut it short, let's get into it, Q intro. Okay, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and hit that notification bell right next to it so you can get a notification every time I upload a video. And now you can get a notification every time I start going live on this channel because I am gonna be live streaming a bit more often this channel. I've I think I've decided I ran a couple polls on Twitter. So if you ever want to kind of have an input in how the channel goes, I'm pretty active on Twitter and it's going to be the main place for that until I do get a little bit bigger and I'll be able to post my community uh, checklist tabs or whatever you want to call them so that you guys can have an input on how the channel goes and kind of what you guys want to see. So I've kind of decided I'm going to probably do a bit more streaming and uh, I am probably going to cut it down to one video a week with more streaming in between so you guys can come in and ask me questions or maybe we'll be reviewing film going over different diets stuff to eat things like that and I hope that is something that interests you guys uh, because it's something that I actually really want to do so yeah go ahead hit that notification bell like I said okay so what is junior college you might have been exposed to junior college in a numerous amount of ways whether it be someone from your school might have went to one maybe there's one that's next to your house or close by or you know of one or you've seen one on the netflix series uh, last chance you whatever it may be a lot of these are misconstrued on what junior college really serves its purpose for whereas i think pretty much the closest representation of what it is like is last chance you Although some of it is dramatized, but at the same time, you know, it, the reality of what these kids go through, especially in California where they don't have scholarships, and I'll get into that a little later, is they're really struggling and it's, it is a hard time out there. So if it's such a hard time, I mean, why do people go to JUCOs? What, what's the point? Why is it fun to have a hard time? Well, the point is people would want to keep playing football. That's just what it is. And at that point in time, maybe that junior college is the only way that they can keep playing football. Now, before we get into the reasons why people might go to junior college and whatever reasons those may be, let's get into the different types of junior colleges so that you can understand what you might be getting yourself into if you were to jump into a situation like this, given that you clicked on this video. I thought it'd be good to let you guys know this. So first of all, junior colleges can be divided up into two main categories. They're the ones that are based in California, which are part of the CCCAA, the California Community College Athletic Association, and the NJCAA, the National Junior College Athletic Association. Now, the difference between these two are pretty stark and pretty clear. Basically, the main difference that everyone notes is that the ones in the NJCAA are able to get scholarships and those kids are able to be supported with dorms and other things that normal college students do get to enjoy. Sometimes those are like on-campus apartments, but not always so luxurious that you might think. It's still junior college. But at California junior colleges, there are no athletic scholarships, zero. The most that people rely on are grants, loans, and any type of uh, state grants maybe. Uh, instead of federal. So basically, if your parents either make too much or that school doesn't offer one from the state that you're coming from, or maybe your state doesn't offer a grant when you go to a school outside of your state, then you better be ready to pay a little bit out of your own wallet. Or hopefully you have some money saved up. Now maybe you have your money figured out and you're trying to decide exactly where you wanna go to school. And you're looking at a couple different JUCOs or you're looking at a JUCO, maybe a four-year university, something like that. And you're trying to decide if junior college is for you if this is the type of program you want to go to first of all decide on what kind of program you want to go to know what situation you're stepping into and I do talk about that in a couple different videos and uh, I'll link the three ways to get recruited one right here so you guys can check that out it might be helpful to you in the future especially if you are going JUCO because your recruiting process doesn't stop uh, it's actually continuing because you're still trying to move on to that four-year university so basically you want to decide if you fit into a a couple different categories. So one of the main reasons that people go to JUCO is because they simply don't have the grades out of high school to move on to the four-year universities. Uh, a lot of people just need a year or two to either get their associates or get their GPA up. You might fall into this and that might be why you're looking at JUCO. 
if you do fall into that, most of the time Juco is the route for you because you don't really have another option if you want to keep playing football. But maybe you do have the grades and you don't have any other offers and you're wondering why that is. Well, first of all, maybe you fall into one of two categories. The first one that you might fall into is basically maybe you just need a year of development. You need to go to JUCO, get a little bigger, get a little stronger. Uh, you are going to be paying for school and paying for sports unless you get one of those NJCAA offers from one of the JUCOs. But I will say that those are kind of hard to come by if you're coming straight into JUCO and you're not a big name recruit so if you do decide to go to juco and you're looking to get that year of development maybe those two years of getting bigger faster stronger and getting more ready to take on those bigger opponents that you'll face at those four-year universities then so be it and that's what you gotta do to keep playing football and we do it because we love it and it's gonna be hard i'm not gonna lie to you it is gonna be hard but it is gonna be worth it if you put in the time and effort and you make sure to give it your all and you make sure to get your name out there. And uh, again, that's what I go through in my video. Uh, this is literally the second video I released, uh, three ways to get recruited. And I hate to mention it a second time, but it is quite relevant when we are talking about junior colleges because as I said, your recruiting process doesn't stop. You're gonna add another year or two to your recruiting process past high school that you've already been doing for three to four years at least hopefully maybe two or one if you got a late start on the ball now the last category that you might fit into if you want to decide if you're going to juco or not is maybe you just need more exposure and this is the one i like to think that i fell into because i was pretty developed in high school although i probably could have gotten a little faster I can still get a little faster. Everyone can still get a little faster. But really, if you decide you need more exposure, JUCO is a great place because everyone in the country will recruit from a JUCO, whereas only certain colleges in certain areas of the country will recruit your state. And it's very limiting. But at JUCO, everyone recruits JUCO. Usually it doesn't matter what JUCO you're from, whether it's anywhere in the NJCAA or in the CCCAA. To four-year universities, a JUCO player is a JUCO player. It doesn't matter where in the country they played, whether it was the NJCAA or the CCCAA. It doesn't really matter because they either have two to three years of eligibility left and hopefully they're ready to step on the field and make an immediate impact with the team. So if you think, man, I'm ready to make an impact on a team now, but I just don't have any way to contact the team or I just don't have a way to get my film out there to coaches or my coach in high school didn't really utilize me the way I wanted him to. Then you should probably think about going to JUCO and getting some film at the position that you want to play or that you think you can showcase the best. Because if you don't have film at that position, there's not going to be many coaches that'll just take a chance on you based on what you say. I'll say this about JUCO. Make sure that you know you love football before going. Make sure that you know that you want to keep playing no matter what adversity you go through because Juco will make sure that you love football because if you don't you're probably not gonna make it and that's nothing against you guys but it's just a reality and they make sure to really really ring out the loose ends of the team to make sure that their team has the best chance of making it that far because they only have two years with the players. They gotta make sure that every year they get basically half of a new team and they wanna make sure that they don't have any people who will be a, a toxic person in the locker room, toxic person on the field. You don't want to be going to JUCO just to waste anybody's time, including your own. So make sure that you love football before you decide to make this big choice that will determine at least a year or two of your life. All right guys, go ahead and leave down in the comments down below. What else you want you guys want see for me now that I've kind of switched to more of a one video a week program and kind of more live streams throughout the week I have yet to decide what days I want to do actually go ahead and put down in the comments down below what days exactly you might want to see me live stream and go ahead and include times if it means anything to you if there's certain times of the day that work better for you guys I'd much prefer to stream at those times so you guys actually be able to watch me and I think based off the polls that I ran on a couple different social media platforms I probably will be streaming here on YouTube so let me know as well if that's something you want or if you think twitch might be better I don't really know I'm gonna figure it out but uh, yeah let me know down below and if you guys like the video go ahead leave a like it really does help the channel and I'd really appreciate it and if you guys want to see more from me in the future go ahead and hit that red subscribe button hit that notification bell right next to it so that you can get a notification every time I go live and I upload a video so you can get a notification for both and you won't miss a thing I do kind of have the creative urge to expand my content a little and because of that 
I think I might want to do some maybe story time stuff, something like that, just so you guys can learn from my own experiences and maybe enjoy some of the kind of stories I have to tell about the literal four different universities that I went to. So that's something for me to look forward to. I hope you guys look forward to it too. My name is Javis and I'll see you guys on the next one.